We Europeans are confused most by three things. The United States, crime, and the concept of happiness. This video will touch on two of these, because this is a list of 10 fearless old school American outlaws. Belle Starr was one of a handful of female outlaws. As a child, she was associated with famous outlaws like Jesse James and the Younger Brothers. And when she grew older, she earned the nickname Queen of the Oklahoma Outlaws. Together with her associates, she pulled off dozens of heists, many of which were robbing stagecoaches, which gained her extra western points. In 1889, she was shot to death aged 40. The killer was never identified, and Belle Star has since been popularised in fiction, which gains her even more western points. Robert Parker was a notorious train and bank robber. On the 24th of June 1889, he and several others robbed $21,000 from a bank, which was about enough to buy the whole of China back then. Parker continued robbing banks for many years, but in 1901, he was forced to flee the country in order to escape authorities. He boarded a ship to Argentina before migrating to Bolivia, where authorities say that they caught up with and killed him. Although his relatives at the time did claim that he was not killed and his body was genuinely never found, Robert Parker is of course better known by the name Butch Cassidy. John Dillinger led his gang to rob 24 banks and even four police stations. He was the most notorious outlaw of his time and was even used by the US government to explain the formation of the FBI. And in 1934, federal agents shot him down. He once escaped from jail using a fake gun crafted from wood and soap, which is the only family-friendly story that features both a prison and a bar of soap. The amazing thing is that the US government genuinely spent more money pursuing him than he ever stole from banks. Sam Bass was an Old West train robber who resorted to crime after failing in business. As part of a gang, he robbed the train in 1877, taking $60,000, which remains the single biggest robbery on the Union Pacific Railroad. He evaded the Texas Rangers for years, but was ultimately surrounded and fatally wounded on the way to a bank heist. He died in police custody on his 27th birthday. John Wesley Hardin wasn't just an outlaw, he was an icon of the Old West. He was basically just a gunfighter who loved nothing more than a good duel. When he was sent to prison in 1878, he claimed to have killed 42 men. He was re-released from prison in 1894 and shot dead in a saloon one year later. He soon became a controversial folk hero. Controversial because when it came to his political views, he leaned more to the right than a paraplegic holocaust denier. Machine Gun Kelly was a gangster during the Prohibition era. He gets his nickname from the Thompson submachine gun, as it was his favourite weapon. In 1933, he kidnapped an oil tycoon and held him ransom for $200,000. This was the crime he was ultimately arrested for, but he was also guilty of serial bootlegging and armed robbery. After a long trial, he was sent to Alcatraz, which was basically just a clubhouse for gangsters. Babyface Nelson was an extremely violent bank robber. He led several criminal gangs and even assisted John Dillinger in his famous wooden gun prison escape, which makes me wanna make more prison shower jokes, but we'll put that on hold for now. Nelson killed more active FBI agents than anyone else, which led to him topping their most wanted list and becoming public enemy number one. At the age of 12, he shot someone in the jaw, and 13 years later he died in a shootout. Even after the FBI killed him, he was a sort of Robin Hood figure of the Depression era. Soapy Smith was an Old West crime boss, but also a con artist. He is famous for organizing criminal activity in Colorado and Alaska, running auction houses and gambling halls that were geared towards scamming people. 
He would also rig elections for his political allies. He lived and died like a true outlaw, being killed in a shootout in 1898. I really thought that Soapy Smith was a terrible nickname, until I found out that his birth name was Jefferson Randolph Smith II, which is terrible even for 1860. The moral of this story is that if you name your child Jefferson Randolph, bad things will happen. Jesse James was world famous as one of the best in the West. After fighting on the losing side in the American Civil War, he robbed banks, stagecoaches, and trains. He was very active up until 1876, when several members of his gang were either arrested or killed. In 1882, he was shot in the back of the head by his close friend Robert Ford. Following his death, his mother wrote this epitaph for him. In loving memory of my beloved son, murdered by a traitor and coward whose name is not worthy to appear here. I think Billy the Kid has been enshrined in popular culture more than any other American outlaw. Legend says he killed 21 people, but while alive, he was largely unknown. It was only in 1881 that he gained national fame when a bounty was placed on his head. He was arrested and sent to jail. No one is quite sure how he did it, but two days before he was due to be hanged, he escapes, killing two men and riding off on a horse. This is the single event that cemented him as an American folk hero. His story is shrouded in mystery. In fact, there is only one existing photo of New Mexico's most feared outlaw. And so that brings us to the end of the list. So remember to subscribe for more. And if you want to help me out, please like, comment and favorite this video as it really helps it reach more people. Or even share this video if you want to go the extra mile.